Hey, this is Danny Flexen for Seconds Out and Sportsbet TV. Here with Darts Legend, might as well upset a few Thanks. people on Twitter. <laughs> Chris Mason and Alex Reid, not sure how best to describe you. Why don't you give it a crack? Well, it's funny, just before we started, you asked me how we're going to describe me. And I really don't know. Um, I'm here because I am a big martial arts pundit. And we, we obviously, we're talking about boxing. But for me, anything to do with combat sports, it's the most entertaining thing since the dawn of civilization. Man wants to see another man fight. And it's uh, like Russell Crowe said in Gladiator, are you not entertained? And we're, we're all talking about it. Yeah, you can't yeah. not be entertained. Yeah. It's, it's so one of those things that gladiatorial battle to see you the, the best man, last man standing. And, and like I say, combat sports. It's and I consider myself first and foremost an entertainer. And I now do a lot of this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because this hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I see these young studs in there, sometimes young ladies, and it is still the most, look, what are you guys doing now? You're talking about who's got the best punch, who's got the best training, who's style, it's fascinating. And I love everything to do with that. You've obviously had a vast number of MMA fights and also kickboxing contests in the past. Did you ever consider going into traditional boxing? Yeah, I did. Um, I've, I've had probably about two, two and a half hundred, 250 uh, kickboxing fights and about 50 MMA fights. Um, I had one boxing match. In fact, my first martial art, I, got, I was into Kung Fu from Bruce Lee films. And um, I thought, this isn't real stuff. I'm going to go and be a boxer. I went to 10 shows. I got one match. And yeah, I don't know what you know. Have you boxed? Yeah. Have you boxed? I haven't. I've trained though, so I know. Have you been in a fight? <laughs> what, as in the street fight? Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's nervy. Past, Ima time, imagine yeah. or, uh, the difference between a street fight and a, a boxing match is you're pre you've got a predetermined time. Are you going to fight so and so at this date? That is adrenaline. You're continually going through. Oh God! Oh God! Why am I doing it? Every fighter goes through that. Right, right before you get out there. Why am I doing it? So I went through that ten times and didn't get a match. And that adrenaline dump is horrible. But I then I thought, okay, I'm going to try some kickboxing. I'm, I could get three or four fights in a weekend. Yeah on these um, tournaments and it, just, mm -hmm. it was it's, a, it's the biggest drug it's the biggest high the lowest low what about you Chris because look you had some amateur fights obviously did you ever consider other martial arts <laughs> no I, 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 I did I, I, a few of my friends were into mixed martial arts uh, a few of them were uh, well actually my cousin was a second or third dan at um, one of the versions of karate and um, technical terms here folks yeah <laughs> and I, I did get asked to you know, have a have a tryout. Well, I'd not asked. I sort of was inquiring, and I thought, well, I'll give it a go. But there's no worse a feeling than being choked out and not being able to do anything about it. It's horrid. It is. It's. It is. Boxing's scary enough. But I, I did. I had a couple of bare knuckle fights. That's scary. But really, to, yeah. But to to not have any control, you cannot get out. It's like if you suffer from claustrophobia. I mean, it, it must be a bit. But I found it. I found it scary because you literally. You, you can't let do me, anything. Let me flip that on its head, right? Because to the, the wrestler, the grappler, mm -hmm. is someone who's going to grapple and twist you and bend, yeah. for them getting punched is equally scary. Yeah. So it's basically, you're just a fish out of water. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's got their strengths and weaknesses. I might be a really good karate guy and I could kick the hell out of you. But if you get close and you punch me, I'm out. Yeah, so it's, it's whoever's got the... Yeah, whoever it, imposes their style. The thing is, you have yeah. to be good at it all. In, in I mean, MMA, you have to you have to be efficient. If not good, you have to you have to have a certain flair. And there's so many dimensions to it. Like I said, there's there's different types of grappling. There's, you you got people that got different types of floor game, and then yeah. they got their some are kickers, some are boxers, some you know some are cho choke out specialists, and that's all different variations of mixed martial arts, isn't it? Or different. Well, well initially, I mean, about 20, 30 years ago, the UFC was created. I mean, although it's been going in every civilization around the world, its own form of free fighting. But they thought, they thought let's, let's get karate versus boxing versus sumo versus so-and-so. And all these guys, and they found for about three or four years, four dominant martial arts sports came through and everybody started training these four sports, which was boxing, yep. kickboxing, wrestling, and jiu-jitsu. Yep. And now, I mean, I was a, a kickboxer and boxer who learned how to stand up, uh, how to, Basically, all the, every, there was a blueprint on how to beat Alex Reed. Get him on the ground and strangle him. Yeah. Didn't like it. <laughs> so you, I had to learn how to wrestle, how to do jiu-jitsu, how to get back up. Because this is where I was dangerous. Yeah. 
So now the fighters today, they come in, they learn, they're, they're world-class wrestlers, jiu-jitsu, they do the whole lot at the same time. Well, now the difference between now and the onset of MMA is that you have people training from a young age for MMA specifically mm, rather absolutely. than other sports. Absolutely. I used yeah. to watch a thing years ago, it was on TV, and it was, it was in actually a square ring, not a, not a cage, but they were allowed to use different, you know, they were allowed to kick and punch and... Oh, I know them. Was um, it Japanese? Yeah, Japanese. Um, shoot. Y yes. Yeah. Um, the, 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 I know the one. Yeah, yeah. The, and that was that was, was that was, that's in, it, that's it was right, incredible yeah. to watch because before you'd only ever seen yeah. you know you'd see karate in films you didn't know if it was you know how effective it would be in a in a real fight in effectively because they they're, you know four ounce gloves they might as well just have do you know what it's really interesting listening to you guys talk because you you clearly and I don't mean to be disrespectful to you complete amateurs and novices when it comes to mixed martial arts because I would for, I, I talk to lots of and you. Well, I was listening to you talk about boxing earlier, and I said, guys, you practice what you're going to say before you say it. You're just throwing it off the cuff. Your knowledge of boxing is second to none, but it's today what I see, there's a paradigm shift in society. I generally believe, but then I'm the MMA guy, yeah. I believe MMA has taken over boxing worldwide. In terms, kids today, they know more about MMA yeah, than yeah, they, they know do. about boxing. <laughs> yeah, they do. So it's, it's not like I'm saying you're the old guard and I'm the new guard, but there's, there is a... I, I train in MMA gear. <laughs> but I there do. you go. There We'd you like go. to see that, Chris. Yeah, no, I, I, it's, 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 it's on, on YouTube, yeah. it's all out there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm fascinated by it because, you know, it was, like I said, it was, it was, there was sort of bits of it around back in the day when I was sort of massively following boxing and having a yeah. few fights myself. But now the UFC is just, it's, it's just opened everybody's eyes to it. And, and I think because we've got more connection with the fighters themselves, you can watch this documentary um, where they, they go into their camps and yeah, then they, yeah, yeah. you know, so you get to know these guys, they're, they're, they seem more accessible. I think the biggest thing that's helped the rise of MMA, especially compared to boxing, is that it's got a uniform brand in UFC, whereas yeah. boxing is so disparate with so many different promoters and power Fragmented. bases, they don't make decisions together, whereas yeah. UFC, the marketing and the production, everything is cohesive. So it's been able to grow in, in so many different markets. I think that's there helped. Is a, there is a big battle, because there's lots of, uh, smaller so Bellator for, for a while yeah. many years ago the three major associations and I fought for one was Cage Rage which is a UK brand and we actually had all of the current UFC champions uh, Pride which is yeah. Japanese and then UFC and then there was a big war it, it politics a bit like boxing but now you're right the two main associations are Bellator and UFC everyone knows what people say I'll oh, do that UFC stuff there was Strike Force as well wasn't there Strike Force has been up. brought up by, by UFC. UFC yeah so it's interesting though, going back to boxing, I had, um, I had a little sparring match with James DeGale once. He <laughs> came down, <laughs> came down a little but I was number eight in the ring. Right. Purely boxing. Yeah. And this is that, and we were talking about um, how you just said something about the, the difference in technique. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to outbox James DeGale. <laughs> it was, this, I was number eight of like eight of, we all he came down, he did a round of each of us. So oh, I, wow. I dirty boxed him. So at least him. he was a bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I just grabbed him, him, grabbed him. And what you do, you do, you're grabbing yeah. and you're Twist like him holding him. Yeah, but I mean, I couldn't do, I wasn't doing MMA, <laughs> no. but I mean, I'm not going to stand there. You've got him in armbar. <laughs> yeah, we'll just hold on to the arms, the tiny arms out. And you see oh, was that before that fight where he got injured? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, I mean, what I'm saying is you've got lots of different tactics, um, different games. Yeah. And what I've seen is, I've trained with, we've got boxers in our gym, and they come times ask for, how can I get away with something? Which is legal, but mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's crossovers. I mean, we, yeah, we yeah. all know the biggest crossover recently, the old Irishman, yeah. with his Mayweather. I yeah. mean, it's interesting, um, he did a bit better than I expected. I don't know if that was, um, yeah, a I bit dodgy, if you yeah, know what I mean. Well, I mean, from what I heard it was, he, he held him up and <laughs> all the money was on the round 10, yeah, which yeah. no one expected. It was the yeah. longest odds, yeah. I think, of anything for the fight to go was round 10. Um, but yeah, I don't think, I don't, because he's not, I, I think it's very difficult. Well, it's equally as dis difficult. I, I mean, Floyd would get absolutely rinsed in a, in a, in a, in a yeah, cage. What, what do you think? Because th th there's talk that he's yeah. a, like, a rematch. But have you heard the rules? Yeah, right? Like yeah. More or less boxing rules yeah. in a cage. Yeah, yeah. But, so they're going to use boxing rules but in a cage. So he can't, he can't choke him out or you know, he can't take him down. It's, it's going to be basically boxing well, in could, barefoot with smaller gloves him, on. If you could kick him, if you could keep him and hold him. Yeah. Just, the, the thing is, there is a thing, like I said, dirty boxing, which yeah. a, uh, a champion called Randy Couture, mm -hmm. 
he was um, Captain America. In fact, he, you might see him. He's in all the um, Expendables films now. Yeah. He was a real. He was an army man, like. Yeah, you know, paratrooper. Yeah. Um, he as were you. He was a wrestler, and he learned how to basically outbox and outstrike kickboxers and boxers using wrestling. Mm. And it's, this is, he's, he's knocking out world-class strikers. Yeah because it's in a cage and you can, you, the timing's different, yep, totally. you're holding people different. If I'm tripping you up and you, you, I'm allowed to trip you up a bit and then I hit you, yep. that's, that's, that's what it's all about. And it's very difficult because I was a puncher and a kicker and all of a sudden guys are trying to take, take me down. Take your legs away. So every time I throw a punch, they're gonna get me down. I might get one punch in, but then yep. I'm on the floor. So Floyd Mayweather, given his age and the fact that he's not really trained MMA before, would you think he's making the right decision moving over without allowing all the MMA moves in the fight? It, it, it's well if it's going to be a boxing match in a cage then no I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's Floyd all the way yeah but I mean I've got, there's got, I don't to me it's a circus and I, yeah. I'm alright of a circus because that's entertaining yeah but some people are Puritans they don't like to see the you, you often see the really big guy versus a dwarf that yeah. sort of stuff it, it happens in Japan all the time yeah is it easier for an MMA practitioner to move into traditional boxing because it would have been part of their training anyway than yeah. it is to go million, the other way million percent million percent but they always struggle because it, again it, it, it's totally different dis the distance control against a guy a, a, a striking stand-up uh, MMA guy doesn't do, do, doesn't move any anything like a boxing. Well, isn't it yeah. a lot yeah. of yeah. MMA striking is there to set up take down exactly. whereas it's removed million from the percent equation. million percent now listen, there's an interesting, I'm involved in the BKB, which is the Bare Knuckle Boxing Association. Yep, yep. And what we found, there's, we've got decent professional boxers coming in who've, who've retired and they want to try their hand at this. They're not Literally. doing as well as the MMA fighters mm -hmm. because it's very different. And you, you understand. Four ounce gloves. You can't punch as hard. No. Because the, heart, the head is, yeah, the people are around. busting their hands. Yeah. And what you're seeing, you're seeing you these MMA, the timing is very different. And it's about, you understand why they used to pop, box like this, because they want to damage these knuckles. So yeah. Very interesting. What, so what I'm saying is the MMA, as the MMA guys are beating the boxers. Yeah. Time and time again. And, and I've seen this now, it's starting to get its act together, the BKB. Yes, it's, it's, I'm meant to be going to a show, I think there's one. June? Yeah. In the O2, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm refereeing. Mm. So you're, so, but my, what I'm what I'm seeing is it's it's remarkable that something about the MMA guys are, are why are they beating these boxers mm. because they haven't got the protection of the glove. No, and they're used to that. Alex, you talk about all these things with such passion. You obviously still keep your hand, and you talked about the refereeing job that you're going to be doing shortly. Do you miss competing? Well, I go to lots of shows, um, and I get, sometimes I get bored because. Even the big shows, I've been to car parks, to fields, <laughs> naughty, naughty, <laughs> naughty fights, to the MGM Grand Arena, and I've been involved, I've fought at every single level. Yeah, I, I, I don't miss car parks, I mean, to me, I'm an athlete, I'm an entertainer, I don't want, I'm not doing it to be the toughest man on the planet, I generally am a martial artist. So you don't miss fighting, you miss entertaining? Yeah, so, and now I'm, I'm an actor, well, I've always been an actor. In fact, weirdly, even though I've had over 300 fights, I don't even consider myself a fighter. So when you ask me wh wh who I am, I'm an actor, I'm an entertainer. I was always the little kid, weirdly, who would ask the questions at school and got told off or laughed at. And I made myself tough through martial arts to stop the bullies. But I was, put, I was becoming like a superhero. I was, becoming, I was pretending I was Bruce Lee, <laughs> Jean-Claude Jean Van Damme, Rocky, mm. in my head to beat these bullies. And I, I've, I've always, I've faced all these dangerous situations, mixing with the underworld and naughty people, because I wanted to prove I was tough. And now I know I'm tough. I don't need mm -hmm. to do that so much anymore. So, yeah. But you obviously still train a lot because you're in, it's still in great shape, even considering you've just had uh, a new hip. Yeah. Well, well yeah, absolutely. I mean, Bionic I'm, man. I, I, <laughs> I am. I go through. I, I buzz as I go through airports. Yeah. <laughs> I have, to, I have to actually generally get naked. Actually, look, no, honestly, it's, a, it's the hip, it's there. Good close up there, guys. Oh, <laughs> bad boy. This Jeez. is one for the ladies and, well, maybe men of a certain persuasion as well. We, yeah. don't, we don't discriminate here. They're looking, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> um, I don't, what was I saying? I, I went off on a tangent. You were just getting naked, I think. Just getting naked. Everything was thrown out. 
Um, yeah, no, I still, no, I, still I love... Keep, keep, you know, still keep fit, still train at the gym, obviously. Do you know what? I've, I mean, I'm having this hip done. Mm. And um, I've got my crutch still, and I'm starting to get better. That's a literal crutch. I would <laughs> actually... What, you always say to fighters, they should know when to give up. To me, I always want that one more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and still, to this day, I, I, well, I feel... Chris has got a bit of, you know, you know I amateur I re- experience. I, reti- so. I retired from darts eight years ago. And I still sort of get to this time of year where I because we have like a qualifying school you have to go through. And I still, I mean, I still play, I still do exhibitions and that, but I still, you know, there's always that one little nagging thing in your mind. Oh, should you, you know, should I, should I have one more go? And that, that must be well, even... I was thinking more you guys can have maybe some sort fight. of boxing thing. Yeah, we yeah, would be the first, second the round day of PTV. The, no, he's the day after he does the That's not a bad idea. When he does that as the other hip jump. Charts boxing. We've had dirty boxing, now yeah. we've had darty boxing. Darty boxing, boxing yeah. yeah. There's shoot boxing, heard it here first. there's kickboxing, <laughs> there's badass boxing, and we've got make <laughs> sexy boxing. Yeah. Sexy boxing. Sexy boxing. Bringing sexy back. You heard it here first. <laughs>